Good day, dear 10th and 11th grade students and uh, interns. Starting from today, uh, we'll have our online uh, lessons again, but these online lessons uh, will be based on revision. Why revision? Because um, our 11th grade students uh, uh, are going to uh, give a final and to take final and uh, admission exams, so uh, they need to revise all the materials they have already uh, taken and they have already learned. And I have um, decided to base our lessons uh, on the materials or on the points that seem to be uh, very challenging and, and confusing for our 11th grade students. We'll, uh, I'll explain it again and then we'll do uh, tests on these uh, materials and on these points in order everything to be uh, clear to you and you not to find any difficulties while doing your final test or doing your admission exams. Now, let us start. Today, our material will be based on articles. Uh, articles, definite articles and indefinite articles. As you know, dear friends, uh, indefinite articles are used for non-specific and non-particular nouns, while definite articles are used for specific and particular nouns. Now, let us once more uh, uh, see how to use of uh, the definite articles and indefinite articles. Definite and indefinite articles, uh, the both are articles, but what about their usage are different. And uh, some people say that articles are not translated into uh, Russian or into Azerbaijan, but they make a sense using of definite and indefinite articles. We use indefinite articles with non-specific and non-particular nouns, but these nouns are in singular and they are countable nouns. For example, a book in our, pay attention to the two forms of um, the indefinite articles, a and n. We use a if our noun starts with uh, consonants, but n is used uh, with the nouns that start with vowel. That you can say that, uh, what about this word? It starts with H, but H is not pronounced here, and its pronunciation starts with the vowel. So that's why we use N over there. What about definite articles? Definite articles uh, are used with all kinds of nouns. What does it mean? It means that we can use definite article with singular, plural, countable and non-countable nouns. Now let us see. The book. Book is countable noun. It is singular. Uh, then uh, what about uh, our? The our. It is countable and singular noun. Then the girls. Girls uh, is a countable noun in plural. And the news. News is an uh, uncountable noun. But we can use all these uh, nouns with definite article. Uh, when we uh, start explaining or giving the definition of uh, any noun, we use indefinite article. Of course, if this thing is countable noun. For example, a pen is for writing. We uh, give the definition or explanation of pen. We speak generally a pen is used for writing. If we use the word pen in plural, no article will be used because we uh, speak generally about uh, why pen is used. Pens are used for writing. Then uh, when we uh, speak about a part or a piece of something, for example, a cup of tea, a glass of water, there are a list of uh, phrases that are always used with indefinite articles. You have to remember these expressions and phrases. Here you see some of them. They are have a rest or have a good time. Though time is uncountable noun, in this expression it is used with indefinite article. Remember it to have a rest or to have a good time or to spend a good time. In a hurry, in a hurry, I am 
ene hare, pat not in hare. Go for a walk. For a walk. Speak in a low or in a loud voice. At an early age, but if age is in plural, no article is used. At early ages, but if age is in singular, we use indefinite article here. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. And what about the second one? Half an hour, it means 30 minutes. In that case, half uh, doesn't take any article. Half an hour. Tell a lie. Remember, tell a lie, but tell the truth. Truth is used with definite article, but uh, while lie, to tell a lie. What a pity. This is an expression when we uh, feel, don't feel okay, or when we feel um, pity about someone, we say, what a pity. Then, a quarter of an hour. A quarter of an hour. Then, as a result, for example, as a result of something. Let's continue. A long way from, a short way from, in a whisper, in a word, it's a shame or it's a pleasure to be at a loss, to make an impression. If we add there uh, any adjective, uh, article comes at the in front of the adjective. For example, to make a good impression, to make a bad impression, or to make a great impression. Then, uh, what about the, with the numbers? A hundred, a thousand, a million. And what about the using of article de? That is definite article, if you remember. Uh, I said that definite article is used for specific or particular nouns. And there are some expressions and uh, phrases that take always article de. These words and expressions are same. We never say same. The girls or two things are same. We always say two, the two things are the same. Then the middle, the center, the bottom, the top, on the left, on the right, so they are the directions, the end, then the only, the following, for example, uh, ask the following questions. So these questions are def definite. Then the whole, for example, the whole world, the whole people, the whole uh, nations, or the whole, for example, questions, then the main, the main idea, the main street, or uh, the main point. Then the police, police, uh, the, we use this word always with the, and it is understood as plural, the police. The police are, but not the police is. Then the army, but nothing about, for example, uh, army is, the army, the army, remember. We use definite article with substantivized adjectives, and they are understood as plural, and they require the verb in plural. They are the rich, the poor, we say, the rich are, the poor are, the wounded, the old, the young, yeah, the red, then the green, they are substantivized adjectives. Then we use the in front of the surnames if the surname belongs to the whole family members. For example, the Smith, then the Mamadovs, the Ahmadovs. The Mamadovs are, the Mamadovs like, the Mamadovs were, the Mamadovs have. But then with the historical buildings, for example, the Maiden Tower, then uh, the Eiffel Tower, uh, then the Tower of London, but, but there are exceptions as well. These ex exceptions are, we say Buckingham Palace, but not the Buckingham Palace, Westminster Abbey, but not the Westminster Abbey. With the names of the ships, for example, the Titanic, then uh, newspaper, journal names, the Times, 
then uh, with the names of the museums, galleries, cinemas, theaters, the article is used. The Times, the British Museum, the National Gallery, the History Museum, the Art Museum, the Hilton Hotel, the Nizami Cinema. Uh, as you remember, dear friends, uh, with the names of the oceans, seas, rivers, channels, a uh, definite article is used. For example, the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Black Sea, the Caspian Sea, the Mediterranean, uh, the Kure, the Aras, the Nile, uh, the English Channel, and so on. We don't use article there with the names of streets, parks, squares, countries, cities, villages. For example, Hyde Park, it is the name of the park, which is a famous park in London. Street, for example, uh, that is Nizami Street or Uzair Hajabali Street. Uh, squares, uh, Trafalgar Square. Countries, Azerbaijan, Russia, England, France, Italy, cities, Baku, Moscow, uh, then London, New York, villages. So with the names of the village, no article is used. But there is one exception with the using of article there with the names of the city. You know that there is just only one city. That is the hike, which is used with article there. Uh, we said that with the names of the countries, no article is used. I mean, the article isn't used. But if the names of the countries are given with their political titles, in that case, the article is used. What are these political titles? They are government, state, federation, uh, kingdom, uh, emirate, etc. For example, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, the uh, Azerbaijan Republic, the Republic of France, then uh, the Russian Federation, in, and so on. Uh, with the names of the islands, we can use article there, and we uh, can't use articles there. If we speak about uh, a group of islands, or uh, if we speak about a group of mountains, article is used, definite article. But if we mention just only uh, the individual islands or individual mountain names, no article is used. For example, the British Isles, a group of islands, but uh, Great Britain. Great Britain is an individual island which is situated on the British Isles. Then uh, the uh, Caucasus, this is the name of the country, and at the same time, it is the name of uh, a mountain chain. Or uh, the Urals, but Pamir. Pamir is, an, is the name of an individual mountain. As you remember, dear friends, with the names of the lakes, we can use and we can't use article there. If the word lake is used in front of the name of the lake, no article is used. For example, Lake Baikal, but not the Lake Baikal, but the Baikal. There is no, there is no the word lake. Remember it. And uh, here are some points that our um, language learners, then our uh, 11th grade students uh, confuse and then they find it very challenging. What are they? You see here, by taxi and by the taxi, they are in different meanings. By taxi is a kind of transport. For example, uh, he goes to work by taxi because he lives far. By taxi is a kind of type of transport. He doesn't go by metro or doesn't go by tram. He goes by taxi. But what about by the taxi? He is standing by the taxi. It means next to the taxi, by the taxi. Then go to hospital and go to the hospital or go to, go, go to a hospital. If 
no article is used in front of the word hospital, it means that the person, the person is ill and he is in hospital. But go to the hospital, my friend is ill and he is in hospital, so I have decided to visit him. The where are you going? I am going to the hospital because my friend is ill. Uh, to be in bed and to be on the bed. To be in bed, it means that you, uh, you are sleeping. Uh, where is he? He is in bed, he is sleeping. But uh, to be on the bed, so it means that you are sitting on the bed. Now, dear friends, it is time to do test and to check what we have remembered. Now here you see uh, some tests um, about using of definite and indefinite articles. Now let us do this test together with you. Now the first sentence, where is, you see here is the gap and we have three variants, a, the and no article needed. Uh, how do you think, dear friends, which one is appropriate one? A. Now, let us pay attention to the second one. I was just using. If I speak about the knife that I was just using, so we speak about the particular. It means a definite knife. And which one do you think? The. Yes. Where is the knife? Second one. How much snow do you get in winter? As we know, snow is an uh, uncountable noun, so that's why uh, A variant, it means that using of A article is incorrect. Now, let us choose either no article to use here or article there. If we speak uh, generally, yeah, that nothing about to speak about specific or particular snow, for example, the snow on the ground or the snow here, you see that we speak about the particular uh, part of snow. In that case, the article can be used there. But what about here? How much snow, no article, will be used here? The third one, I had fruit for lunch. Uh, fruit is uncountable noun. You know that fruit can be used as countable and uncountable, but here it is a, a kind of food, so that's why no article, no definite, indefinite article can be used with fruit. And what about the and no article? Generally, I had fruit, but nothing about the fruit. The fruit, uh, we can use the fruit for some, the fruit that I ate for my lunch, in that case, the fruit uh, becomes, I mean, definite. We speak about the particular fruit. Which article, which, which variant, no article needed. I'm thinking about taking holiday. I'm thinking about, I'm planning to take, I speak generally, uh, not specific holiday, and holiday uh, is, will be used with indefinite article. I'm thinking about taking a holiday. Can you lend me pen? Pen is countable noun and it is in singular. Uh, it, if it is singular, singular countable nouns uh, are not used without article. Now let us see which one to take. No article, no. It is incorrect version. N and A articles. Pen starts with consonant, so we can't use N here, which is the right variant. Yes, the right variant is A. Can you lend me a pen? Six, roses in your garden are beautiful. Do we speak about the particular part of roses or generally? Of course, we speak about roses uh, that are in your garden. So. Roses are definite, familiar to us. Which article to you see are? Yes, you're right, article D. The roses in your garden are beautiful. Make sure you drink plenty of water. If, if in front of the noun we use any uh, quantifiers, no article is used. That drink plenty of a water is uh, incorrect 
way or yan. No article needed. Let's eat out at restaurant tonight. What type shall we go to? You say, you haven't decided which restaurant to go. You mean any restaurant. And which article to put here? Yes, you're right. Article, indefinite article. Let's eat out at a restaurant. It means at any restaurant. I should buy new pair of shoes soon. You know that um, there are some quantifiers that they are used with article A. One of them is a pair of shoes. A pair of shoes, a pair of trousers, a pair of gloves. Which article? Of course, article A. It is indefinite article. What about the other uh, groups of tests here? The first one. Choose the correct variant. Nile is a very beautiful river. Now, uh, when you, uh, during your exams, dear children, uh, you have to practice more at home or with your teachers in order uh, to use the given time effectively. So don't uh, waste a lot of time on thinking around all five versions. Now, uh, I'll show you how to do it in an effective way, but nothing about ineffective way. You see, because of Nile, uh, because of Nile, we uh, will uh, omit the variant D, B, and C, because you know that with the names of the rivers, we use definite article. But what about in D, B, and C? You see that nothing about the first part to be given with the article. And let us choose either it to be A or E. The Nile is, we generally speak about that, we give the definition of it, uh, that the Nile is a very beautiful river. Which version? Yes, E variant is the right variant. Second, choose the correct variant again. Uh, this is the Nuba River, so again the name of the river. Now, which uh, variants? Uh, to omit, yes, you're right. To omit A, then D, E. Now, what about the two variants, B and C? Let us uh, think which one to take. Our second word is the name of the country. And you know that with the name of the country, we don't use uh, article. In that case, our C variant is the right variant. The Danube River runs through Hungary. Third, we visited nice village in Caucasus. The Caucasus, according to the second part of it, we can take A, B, but which variant to omit? D, E, and C. Now let us choose which one to take. We visited any nice village. It is not a specific or definite village. So A variant is the right variant. We uh, visited a nice village in the Caucasus. Fourth one, Pacific Ocean. That with the names of the oceans, the article is used. So we'll omit D variant, E variant, and C variant. A and B, which one to choose? The Pacific Ocean has different types of fish. Not a different types of, but different types of fish. Uh, the third, uh, fifth one, there are beautiful cities in Italy. Uh, cities are in plural, so indefinite articles can't be used there. So we omit A variant, B variant. Then uh, what about uh, the, the variant? We don't speak about the specific cities. We speak about, uh, we, we, we generally speak about the cities in Italy uh, that will not take C variant, and uh, what about uh, D variant? With the names of the countries, no article is used. Our right variant is E. There are beautiful cities in Italy. Then, next one. Uh, what language do people speak? This is the name of the country. We'll not put there any article. What language do people speak in England? With the names of the languages, no article is used. If 
it is uh, understood as the nationalities, the article is used. English is the language, the English nationality. English is, the English are. Which variant? Uh, do you see here A variant? Which language people speak in England? Three seconds of when languages are from Asia and Europe. With the names of the continents, no articles are used, as you know. So A, D, B, and C are incorrect variants. Uh, which one is our OK variant? Of course, it is E. Uh, Anna was born in Italy, but she lives in USA. Both are the names of the countries, but Italy is the name of the country which uh, isn't used with definite article, but what about USA? USA is the name of the country which is given with, the, with its political title. So if the names of the countries are used with their political uh, titles, the article is used. Which variant? Of course, variant B is OK variant. Nine, we went to uh, France and stayed in Paris for a few days. So again, with the names of the countries and the cities, no article is used. Now, what about here? Sophie has always wanted to visit Rome on a uh, big ship. Rome is the name of the city, and so on, an, on uh, on, a, on any big ship that we speak generally. So which variant is OK variant? Of course, this is C. Uh, Nick crossed Black Sea by boat. Black Sea is the name of the sea, so that's why the article will be used. As we know it, then let us apply it. So and uh, omit the uh, incorrect variants. A is incorrect and D is incorrect, and of course C is incorrect. Which one to choose, B or E? The Black Sea, and by boat is a kind of transport, so with the kind of transport we use no article. In that case, E variant is the right variant. Papuan language consists of 11 letters. It is language which has the smallest alphabet. Now, we, I, we said that the names of the languages are not used with articles, but, but if, we give the specific or the particular names of the language, the article is used. So here we'll use the article. The Papuan language consists of 11 letters. It is that we explain it. It is a particular, specific language. It is the language which has, this is the um, superlative degree of an adjective, and you know that superlative degrees of adjectives uh, uh, are used with article there. Now let us choose which variant. Uh, A variant will be omitted, then what about D also will be omitted, and uh, because of that smallest E variant is incorrect variant, and what about C, uh, language is a specific, we speak about the specific language, so that's why uh, C also is in an, uh, inappropriate, and which Variant is OK variant, of course, B variant, there, there, there. Uh, what about this one? Turkey is one of most visited countries in Europe. Turkey is the name of the country, no article. Uh, that if no article, so uh, A variant is incorrect, B variant is incorrect, and E variant is incorrect. Three variants are incorrect. What about D and C? Uh, because of uh, this one, that we can take, uh, that no article is taken here, and this is the uh, superlative degrees, and after of, we mainly use the article, is one of the, so we come here, there is no the in the second gap, visited countries in Europe is the name of the uh, continent, with the names of the continent, no article is used. And the last one, we saw, Close shop on center of the city. Uh, do you remember that with the, the, the center of, the middle of, then the top or the bottom of, we use the article. Yeah, for the second place, where are the, the articles? Uh, it, that we come across it in B, then in E, and in A. So we'll omit A and C. Uh, we saw any closed shop. 
uh, but uh, we don't speak about the definite closed shop, but any closed shop, uh, one closed shop. We saw a closed shop in the center of the city. Which variant? Of course, the variant D. Dear friends, uh, I think that after uh, the revision and uh, my explanation, you uh, have remembered uh, that everything concerning to using of indefinite and definite articles. And what about uh, that challenging and confusing? Uh, you can improve uh, your um, knowledge around the using of articles only through practice. You know that uh, you have a lot of, uh, you have your own test uh, books. Now uh, go to your test books, find the section of using of articles and do your test. If you uh, find something challenging, uh, consult with your teachers and with your friends. So that's all for today. Bye.